A new show is taking the stage tonight at the Clarence Brown Theater. There's new leadership and new technology helping everything come together. Katie Inman takes us behind the scenes of Agatha Christie's Murder on the Orient Express. From phones to table settings and lighting choices, DJ Pike picked everything on this set with purpose. I wanted it to be very precise and meticulous. This graduate student is the scenic and projection designer for Agatha Christie's Murder on the Orient Express at Clarence Brown Theater. It follows Hercule Poirot on his journey in investigating this murder that has happened on a train. There's a lot of moving parts. So a lot of up, down, left, right, forward, backwards, a lot of movement. Putting a train on stage is not easy. To pull it all off, he used a new piece of technology. Uh, one of the use most useful tools for myself was including the design team, the director, and everybody associated actually walking through a VR version of the set um, so that we could get a sense of the scale and how things move and work on stage and off stage before anything was built, before anything was finalized. It's a way to bring these stories on stage to life, something that's important to the new artistic director, Ken Martin. This type of storytelling can be very powerful and very, um, and very meaningful. During his time at the Clarence Brown, he's focusing on the future. But I would love to see us expand our uh, reach into communities that don't typically come to the theater um, and how that manifests itself over the next couple of years. Well, we'll have to see. I have lots of plans, but we'll see which ones come to fruition. Soon, the hard work in the wings will come to life once the train takes off. In Knoxville, I'm Katie Inman. And tickets are going fast. If you want to see the show, you can buy seats online through October 2nd.